Well, we are here in Queens because uh, Isamu Noguchi moved here in 1966. A lot of artists in New York City were moving to Soho. Uh, he didn't really uh, follow the pack. That was not his way. And he came out to Long Island City particularly because there were artisans that he could work with to help him fabricate his work. Noguchi's mother's name was Leonie Gilmore. And when Noguchi was first born, for many years he was known as Sam Gilmore, even though she called him Isamu. And when he was uh, 21, he took on the name of Noguchi. I mean, the, when then in 1980, what he did was he bought what was a small gas station, which is the cinder block building. He leveled it and he created the entryway, which is what we call the indoor-outdoor space. It has a very Japanese feel to it. Um, it's never heated, so you really have a sense of the elements at different times of year. And then he enclosed this garden, which was really a junk heap. Uh, and I think it was very much that he did not want to have his work relegated to the basement of some gallery, his life's work. He really wanted people to experience um, what he tried to create here as an oasis, which was really kind of a sense of East and West and where they come together. But the thing about Noguchi that's incredible is the only museum here, and this is the only museum in the United States founded by an artist, dedicated to their own work, founded during their lifetime, designed by the artist, curated by the artist, the works donated by the artist, the catalog written by the artist, and initially funded by the artist. And that is pretty remarkable because of who the artist Noguchi was. I mean, it is not, people could think, oh, isn't it a vanity? And I would say, absolutely, it is not a vanity. This man was trying to give his soul to people and say, come here and experience this place, my oasis for you. I think uh, because museums have become so big and so impersonal and so much about commodity that the very uh, particular experience of this museum um, becomes more valuable for people. So I think it's something that people really don't expect. And you walk in this little entryway and then you walk into this room where there's a sense that there's birch trees and the air comes in and, and it, it's, it's just a very different space. And you can't believe that there's a Costco on the other side and there's buses and police and people. And, and then you eventually come into the garden and uh, the galleries. and. You get to look at the work by yourself. You get to really be by yourself and look at art, which is becoming a rarer and rarer experience in this city. Mm -hmm.